multi-step equations. To solve multi-step equations, combine like terms on one side. And you also need to bring variables to one side by adding and subtracting. Then you can simplify more by using the inverse of multiplication or division. And at the end of the process, you need to check your answer by plugging the value of the variable into the original equation. Let's take a look at some examples here. In this example, it says 3x plus 4 is 7. So the first step here, all the variables, you can see that it's on one side of the equation. So we have only 3x here. So all variables are on one side. The next step, we need to use the inverse of addition or subtraction. This one is 3x plus 4. So the first step, something or 4 is added to this part. We need to remove it from this side. So minus 4. The inverse of addition is subtraction. Minus 4. But you need to do the same thing for both sides. So this side of the equation, 3x plus 4 minus 4, do the same thing for the other side of the equation, 7 minus 4. 7 minus 4, it is 3. And 3x plus 4 minus 4, these two cancel out. So it is actually, the result of this operation is 3x equals to the 3x equals to 3. Now the next step, 3 is multiplied by x. So x multiplied by 3. The inverse operation of multiplication is division. Divide both sides by 3. So if you divide both sides by 3, then 3x divided by x, these two cancel out. It's just 3x divided by 3 is just x. So x equals to 3 divided by 3 is just 1. Now, the last step, let's check the answer. Let's just plug in the value of 1 into the original equation. And let's see if that works. So 3x, x is 1. We found it. 3 times 1 plus 4. So 3 times 1 is 3 plus 4 is 7. Yes, and the answer is correct. 7 is here. So the answer is correct. Next one. Here, the variable is on one side. And it is added to 7. So use the inverse of inverse operation of addition, which is subtraction, minus 7 both sides. So these two cancel out. And 3 minus 7 is actually negative 4. So from this operation, we have negative x equals to negative 4. What is the next step? We want to find x, not negative x. So divide both sides or multiply both sides by negative 1. If you divide by negative 1 or multiply by negative 1, you get the same result. Negative x divided by negative 1 is just x. And negative 4 divided by negative 1 is 4. So x is 4. But let's check the answer. So I just check it here. It's negative x, so I just write negative, but we know that x is 4, so negative 4 plus 7, is it 3? Yes, it is. So your answer, the, three, the answer 4 for x is correct. Next one here. This one seems more complicated than the previous one. Here we have negative, we have variable one side, but negative is multiplied by the whole parentheses. So let's just get rid of this one by multiplying both sides. Just multiply by negative 1 and that one by negative 1. So if you multiply both sides by negative 1, negative 15 times negative 1 is just 15 equals to negative 1 times this part, times this negative. These two cancel out. It just becomes 3x plus 9. The next step, we want to, well, 3x is added to 9. We need to use the inverse of addition, which is subtraction. Subtract 9 from both sides. 
to get rid of this 9. So it just this side becomes 3x, and this size 15 minus 9 is just 6. Now, 3x equals to 6. What is x? 3 times a number is 6. What is that number? It's multiplied. You need to divide both sides. The inverse operation of multiplication and division. So divide by 3. 3x divided by 3 is just x. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Next one, let's take a look at these. Now we have variables both sides. So first, let's just simplify this side because it's multiplied by 4. So this part, let's just skip it. It is negative 6 minus 2x equals to 4 times 2 is 8. And 4 times negative 4x is negative 16x. Okay, the easiest way to solve, we need to bring the variables one side. So always choose the smaller one, the smaller value of the variable, and move it to the other side by adding that part, that value, to both sides. Here, negative 2x and negative 16x. Which one is bigger? Yeah, absolutely, negative 2x is bigger than negative 16 because that's just negative. The negative numbers, negative 2, is bigger than negative 16. Now let's just add 16x both sides. So plus 16x and plus 16x. These two sides. Now this part, negative 6 minus 2x plus 16x, it just becomes negative 2x plus 16x is 14x. So it is 14x minus 6. 14x minus, or you could write minus 6 plus 14x, doesn't matter equals to, and these two cancel out, negative 16x plus 16x, just remove, so the other side is just 8. The next step is easy. We have 14x minus 6 equals to 8. So the inverse operation of negative 6, the inverse operation of subtraction is addition. So add 6 both sides. So 14x, these two cancel out, equals to 14. Now x is, if you divide both sides by 14, x is 1. Let's check the answer. I just check it here. It's negative 6. Just write it here, negative 6. Minus 2. Then the answer we said is 1, right? Equals to 4. 2 minus 4 times 1. Now let's just check. Negative 6 minus 2 is just negative 8 equals 2. So inside the parentheses, 2 minus 4 is just negative 2. And 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And negative 8 equals to negative 8. So your answer is correct. Let's take a look at the next example. It's similar to the previous one. So here we have x minus 5. Just keep this side x minus 1 equals to, just multiply these two, negative 25 plus 25x. Negative 5 times 5 is negative 25. Negative 5 times negative 5x is positive. Negative 5 to negative 5 is positive 25x. Now here, 25x is bigger than x here. So let's just subtract x from both sides. Minus x and minus x. Then x minus x is just 0. So we have that part is negative 5 equals to negative 25 plus 25x minus x. So it is negative 25 plus 20. Uh, oh, that is negative 25. This one doesn't change. So negative 25 plus that one is 24x. So negative 25 plus 24x is negative 5. Now let's just add 25 both sides. So this part, it is 24x. If you just add 25 both sides, plus 25, then negative 5 plus 25 is just 20. Equals to, that one is 24x. The next step is easy. Just divide both sides by 24. If you divide it by 24, x is 20 over 24 
or the both are divisible by 4, right? You can divide it by 4 both, it becomes 5 over 6. Now, you can just plug in this one back into the equation and check your answer. So just plug in it back into the equation and check your answer. Let's take a look at the last one here. So again, we have variables both sides. So to, re to remove the var to bring uh, variables one side, just choose the smaller one. The smaller one here is 12x. That one is 14x. Subtract it from both sides. Now, 12x minus 12x is just 0. So negative 50 this side equals to 14x minus 12 is just 2x minus 100. Now, the reverse operation of it, Negative is just minus is plus or addition. So you need to add 100 both sides. Negative 50 plus 100, it is just 50. Equals to, these two cancel out, is 2x. And divide both sides because it's just multiplied by 2. Divide both sides by 2. 50 divided by 2 is 25. Equals to x. Now 25, just bring it back, just plug in the value of x, substitute x by 25 here, and check your answer. 